they win and make it to the final four. It's quarterfinals week in the I Beg to Differ debate tournament. Monday. My name is Ebola Timothy from Bizarre School. My name is Hamid Olner. One winner. One winner. Tuesday. My name is Ikemini Osumusen, representing Inspira College. I'm Master Claudia of Senna's Gummy School. One winner. One winner. Wednesday. My name is Mayan Pao Osumu Artemis. I'm Koya Salam of Atenzi School. One winner. One winner. Thursday. My name is Bawa Jessa. My name is David Edwards from the African Church Mother College. One winner. One million naira. Join me, Sandra Ezekwasili, my panel of judges and my debaters, 4 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays on 99.3 Nigeria Info. This tournament is supported by ULESSON, RLG Communications and obiwizi.com. Here we go. It's day one of the I Beg to Differ debate quarterfinals. This is it. We are down to the last eight debaters. By the end of this week, there will be four. Those four will go on to be next week's semi-finalists and finalists. One winner. One million naira. A big thank you to all our sponsors and partners who have made I Beg to Differ happen. ULESSON is our prize sponsor. They will sign the big fat check that our winner goes home with. Uh, ULESSON provides coding for children. If you're looking for your children to get into the tech sector and learn how to code, ULESSON uh, is the place to check out. So check them out today, code.ulesson.com. Speaking of, ULESSON is also providing three months of coding classes for whoever wins this edition of I Beg to Differ. They're also going to provide coding classes for the second person and the third persons who make it into uh, the final three. So there's a lot to play for. We also have a laptop from obiwizi.com going to the grand prize winner. We have a phone uh, from obiwizi.com as well going to the second place. And the third place finisher will get a of portable speaker cutsy obiwizi.com obiwizi.com is available online of course you can shop there you can shop brand new devices you can shop good as new devices they also provide repair advisory and after sales services and of course all four semi-finalists will walk away uh, with a tablet from RLG if you're a school and you're looking to provide tablets that are very affordable for your students Check out RLG. RLG is a Nigerian original equipment manufacturer. They're based in Ilesha, Ocean State. They manufacture laptops, desktop computers, decoders, smart electric meters, power banks, and yes, tablets. Four of those tablets will be going home with our final four on today's, uh, well, not today, on the final day, <laughs> next week. And speaking of semi-finalists, today I have in the studio with me the two winners from last Monday's debate. They are about to go head to head for a spot in Monday's semi final. Now let's debate. Our first debater is a 15 year old in SS2 at Rainbow College uh, Day School. His name is Hamid Olarewaju. Hamid is our number one seed. Good to have you on the show again today. It's good to be here, Mom. Our second debater is a 12-year-old in JS2 at Bijamic Private Schools at Ja, Lagos. Ebule Timothy Chukwebuka, he's returning this year after getting knocked out in the quarterfinals last year. Ebuka, today may be the day you break the jinx. Welcome back to I Beg to Differ. Thank you. All right, the contestants have been told the rules, but I'm sure you're tuning in for the first time today. So let me remind you what the rules are. I will give you a topic. You will uh, either be in support or you will oppose. You will each first get three minutes to present your positions. And then you will each get another three minutes in the rebuttal round to address the points your opponent made. Now, remember, this is not the playoffs. This is the main event. That means that there are no do-overs. If you make an error, the clock is the clock. Our panel of judges tuned in from all over the world. We have our chief judge here in Lagos. We have one of the judges joining us from the UK and another judge join, joining us from Canada. And they will be scoring both rounds based on number, quality, and originality of unique points made. If you repeat a point 
your score will not increase. Uh, clarity of thought and eloquence of presentation will earn you high scores for style. Number of opponents' points addressed will also earn you points during the rebuttal round. The strength of your rebuttal of each point is important. Now, if your scores are tied by the time both rounds are done, there will be a tie break around. You'll switch sides. You'll have three minutes to debate in favor of your opponent's position. You'll be scored for all new points, new, emphasis on new points that your opponent missed during their first and their second rounds. And also, you'll be scored for new rebuttals to the points that you made earlier. Now, let me give you a hint. If you uh, if you get to a tiebreaker round and you're debating and you're just, you know, rapping, rapping, rapping and you're making the points that your opponent has made before, the judges are not even listening to those points. They're waiting for you to make a new point. So, most people pray that it doesn't get to tiebreaker round. But I love tiebreaker rounds because I love listening to you guys debate and debate and debate and debate. All right. Let's uh, decide who supports and who opposes. You already know your topic. Asu is right to go on strike. Yes? Yes. yes sir. Sir. All right. Let's decide who's going to go first. I've got two pieces of paper in my hands. Ebule Timothy picks the first one. And Hamid Olayanwaju picks the second one. Now, whoever picks support will go first. Whoever picks oppose will go second. Who's supporting? Oh, oh, finally opposing. All right. And Ebule Timothy Support. is supporting. Fantastic. It's time for round one, the presentation round. Let's start with Mr. Timothy, the motion supporter, and then we'll come to Mr. Hamid, the motion opposer. Your three minutes start now. Dr. Dele Asharun once said, and I quote, no nation can rise above its educational development, particularly at the tertiary level. Good day, moderator, my highly esteemed panel of judges, my accurate tank keeper, my disputing co-debater, and my ever-attentive listeners. My name is Ebole Timothy from Bijami School, and I'm here to strongly support the motion which says, ASU is right to strike, with the following reasons. Firstly, ASU is primarily fighting for the ordinary Nigerian students whose parents don't have any means of paying for foreign or private universities. According to National University Commission, there are 205 universities in Nigeria. Out of those 205 universities, 99 are owned privately. Systematic defunding of the public university will make it difficult for the ordinary Nigerian student to access tertiary education. Or does my opponent want what happened to our public primary and secondary schools to happen to our universities? Secondly, delay in using new terms which have been tested and proven to be above 85% as against IPPIS is enough reason why I should so strike. Can my opponent tell me any other part of the world where lecturers are paid from the accountant general's office? Thirdly, government has failed to abide by the 2009 agreement. Part of the 2009 agreement said that there should be adequate funding of universities and at least 26% of the annual budget should be spent on allocation for universities instead of 5.3%. And yet my opponent say that ASU is right to is wrong to strike. Fourthly, our poor educational system has driven some of our youth outside the country. According to Ukraine Center for International Education, 4,379 Nigerian students studied in Ukraine as of 2019. This has led to the loss of some of our smart brains to the outside country. And yet you still say that ASU is wrong to strike. Fifthly, Nigerian lecturers are poorly paid and as a matter of fact are the least paid in the whole of Africa. A Nigerian professor does not earn more than 600,000 per month, which is further reduced by IPPIS. How do you expect these lecturers to put in their best when they have not had an increment in their salary since 2009? Furthermore, the incentive nature of our government over the educational system has made Nigerian certificates to be almost meaningless outside the country. University of Ibadan is the only university in Nigeria that is ranked among the top 1,000 universities in the world. Furthermore, we... Furthermore, the imposition of IPPIS on our university system has discouraged some of our sound minds to lecture in our university. According to Professor Emmanuel Osadike, the ASU chairman, there are less than 70,000 lecturers in our public, federal, and private universities. With all this point of mind, you all must agree with me that ASU is right to strike. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Ebule Timothy Chukwabuka is 12 years old. He's in JS2. He's our number eight seed. And he's from Bijamik Private Schools, Aja. 
He was knocked out of the quarterfinals in 2021, November 2021, in the first ever I Beg to Differ debate tournament. Today, he faces someone else who was also knocked out in the first ever I Beg to Differ debate tournament during the quarterfinals as well. Hamid Olarunwaju is our number one seed in this edition. Hamid, your three minutes start now. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASO, has been on strike for 55 months in the past 23 years. Nigerians are wondering, can ASO really justify this? Good day, prestigious panel of judges, most accurate timekeeper, and of course, my very esteemed audience. My name is Hamid Online Waji, and today I hope to disabuse anybody of the notion that ASO is right to be on strike with the following points I prepared for you. To begin with, ASO has the right to protect the interests of its members, but these members are teachers, and what should be more important to a teacher than sharpening the minds of his students? When ASU comes back from strikes, it becomes harder for lecturers to teach the students from where they left off, which leads to how big graduates. No wonder we have less capable minds in Nigeria nowadays. Another thing we need to realize is that when ASU goes on strike, it brings out problems for other groups that are in the universities, such as the non-academic staff, which now have which now their jobs lay in the hands of us who deciding to come back or not. Another point we need to realize is that it's driving away our for it is weakening Nigeria's economy. When ASU goes on strike, universities will now be remaining dormant. When universities remain dormant, that means that businesses which rely on students being in school, such as printing presses and paper booksellers and people who tailor students' clothes at, in some universities, this means that they wouldn't have anything to do in this time. Some of them depend on ASU being on students being in school for their livelihood. What happens to them? Another thing we need to realize is that ASU has been on strike since before the year 1999. Nothing has changed. If it's not working, ASU should either stop striking or they should decide to go or they should find another way that will benefit them in the future. Another thing we need to realize is that it is bolstering foreign economies. When ASU is on strike, that means that the members of our economy, the members of our intellectual class, they decide that Nigerian universities are not giving them the appropriate um, care that they need. So they take scholarships of foreign universities, which decreases Nigeria's manpower. And my opponent thinks that ASU being on strike will help increase this. I think not. Another point we need to realize is the fact that when ASU is on strike, they're being selfish about the issue. Other sectors in Nigeria face the same problems ASU is facing, like the Nigerian police who their salary has not increased in the past how long? It's still a measly 9K. What do, what does anybody want to do feed their family with 9K? Another thing we also need to take into account is the fact that the federal government is working with the resources they have on ground. ASU is asking for way more than the federal government can allocate at this point in time. What do they want? Do they want the federal government to go and be stealing from other countries to come and fund Nigerian universities? What is the merit in that? Another thing we also need to take into account is the fact that um, foreign universities, another thing we need to take into account is the fact that um, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. When the de when Nigerians decide that, when ASU goes on strike, students are left with nothing to do. When students are left with nothing to do for a prolonged period of time, that leaves um, less chance for them to do work properly. With these few points on mind. Thank you very much. Hamil Larawaju, well done. Lagos, if you just tuned in, hello to you. You're listening to I Beg to Differ. I Beg to Differ is Nigeria Info FM's debate tournament for students in secondary school. We have auditions and then we select 16 of the greatest debaters in Lagos and we bring them into the studio for a round of 16 match and then we bring back the eight for quarterfinals, we bring back the four for semifinals, we bring back the two for the finals and we give one winner one million naira. I'm Sandra Ezekwesli, your moderator. Today, you're listening to our very first quarterfinal match between Hamid Olarawaju, who's 15 years old in SS2 at Rainbow College Day School, Surulere, here in Lagos. Um, he's returning... Uh, uh, 
after the tournament in November where he was knocked out by the young woman who went on to win, the 13-year-old who went on to win um, in November 2021. And he's facing 12-year-old uh, Bijamik Private Schools student. He's in JS2 there. Ebuli Timothy Chwebuka. Uh, Timothy was also knocked out in the quarterfinals in 2021, November 2021. And today they're back trying to be the one who makes it into today, into the semifinals next week. You just heard them debate that asu is right to go on strike timothy says yes they are and hamid says nope they are wrong to do it let's take a break when we come back from this break it'll be time for their rebuttal rounds during the rebuttal rounds the points that have been made in the presentation rounds will be shredded by the openings i'm sandra ezekwesili on social media don't go away some got here by dominating. The salary structure of Nigeria police is very, very low. We have recruits in Nigeria's system that earn just 9,000 naira. This doesn't even help them. Some got here by walkover. Our words loud. You see them everywhere as they shout. They walk about in search of some clout. They're just individuals who have lost their routes. Some got here by playoffs, walkover, and upset. Hello, judges, I want you to understand the fact that this nomination of candidates is not democratic because it's not done in a way that to appeal to the generality of the political party. But it doesn't matter how they got to the elite eight. Have you seen the state of parks in Lagos nowadays? They're deplorable. They're an eyesore and a health hazard to everyone they come across. What matters is, will they win and make it, and make it to the it final to four? Final. It's quarterfinals week in the I Beg to Differ debate tournament. Monday. My name is Ebola Timothy from Bizarre My name is Hamid Dolnero. One winner. One winner. Tuesday. My name is Ikemi Osumusen, representing Spira College. Our master Claudia is going to school. One winner. One winner. Wednesday. My name is Ampao Osumu Artmos. I am Kouya Salam of Atenzi One winner. One winner. Thursday. My name is Dawa Jessa. My name is David Edwards from the African George Mother College. One winner. One million naira. Join me, Sandra Ezekwasili, my panel of judges, and my debaters, 4 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays on 99.3 Nigeria Info. This tournament is supported by ULESSON, RLG Communications, and Obiwizi.com. It's time now for the rebuttal round. We'll start with the motion opposer Hamid Olarawaju. Thank you, Ma. Um, one of my opponent's points was that Asu is fighting for the rights of the average Nigerian student. Oh, please. Asu only wants to increase the money that is coming into the pockets of its lecturers. That is the reason why they're also avoiding the IPPIS scheme because m a lot of ghost lecturers are m moving around different unis and they're collecting multiple salaries. And you're telling me this is to protect the rights of the average Nigerian students. That's laughable. Another thing we need to look at is you said is that Asu doesn't pay itself. Why should ASU pay itself? It's an op they are federal institutions. They should be paid by the federal government. Whatever measures the federal government puts in place, ASU should learn to respect them and live by them. Another thing you said is that the reason why ASU is still on strike is because the government didn't honor its agreements. The government is doing the best with what it has on ground. Nigeria since 2009 has been through several recessions. We need to understand that our country is struggling. We do not have the resources to be putting um putting more salaries in the pockets of lecturers another thing we need to you said is that nigeria are losing talented lecturers you're telling losing talented students you're telling me that by asu going on strike leaving the unis empty that nigeria will be gaining back these students that they have lost to foreign countries i think not another thing we need to look at as you have said is that nigerian lecturers aren't being paid enough Nigerian lecturers are making plenty compared to a lot of other jobs here in Nigeria, such as, as I mentioned before, the police in Nigeria only make about 9K. Lecturers are making way more than that. How can you tell me that because they are making less, they're making less than they think they should be making, that is enough reason for them to cause discord in the entire Nigerian system? Another thing is that you said the uncertain nature of the government. What government is setting? This is a country we are talking about. Human error will come into play. We need to understand this and move forward. Another thing you also said is that IPPIS discourages lecturers. I'm sorry, but it's the lecturers who are greedy, who want to take more than they are allocated, that will, want their, that will not want IPPIS to succeed because this was just the way the federal government came up with to make sure that, the go that um, lecturers are being paid the appropriate amount and are not taking more than they need to by teaching at more than one university. With that being all the points that my opponents made, I feel like... I have done a good job defending myself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done. Good job to you, Hamid. Hamid is 15 years old. He's in SS2. 
at Rainbow College Day School through Larry Lagos. Timothy, your three minutes start now. Thank you. you said you said that the idle man did the devil workshop. You, that students who are asked to stay at home will get engaged in various activities. Well, this student is an advantage. This student staying at home is an advantage for them to get to start up entrepreneurship business, their their own business, and it's not necessary that they get engaged in fraud. And you also said. Asu is asking for more than what Asu is Asu is asking for more than government can give. Well, if government does not have enough money to f- fund Asu, that is why there is the Tertiary Trust Fund. Government can simply go there to get the money there and fund Asu's demand. You also said that nothing has changed. I disagree with this because during Jonathan's regime, Jonathan, good, good, good luck. Ebele Jonathan gave Asu 200 billion naira, and yet you say that nothing has changed. You said Asu um, government is working with resources again. They can if they don't have enough resources to fund as to fund Asu's demand, they can simply go to the tertiary trust fund. You also said that Asu is being selfish. They are not being selfish. They are simply fighting for their rights that they want their salaries to get increased. You also said that. This is weakening the Nigeria economy. Well, I agree with this, but this is a necessary evil. Because for every decision that the that government takes, there's always pros and cons. And what makes this decision a better decision is when the pros are higher than cons. So if ASU is going on strike, to, is weakening the Nigeria economy, government will have to fund ASU's demand so that the economy will not be weakened. I hope I'll be able to rebut all the points that you made. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Woo! My oh my. If you just tuned in, you're listening to I Beg to Differ on Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. I'm Sandra Ezekwasili, your moderator. I've got uh, Ebule Timothy Chukwebuka, who just finished speaking, he supports the motion that Asu is right to strike. And his opponent is Hamid Olarunwaju, who's 15 years old, who says, nope, Asu is not right to strike. They have just gone uh, through their first and second rounds. We're going to go off on a short break. When we come back from this break, we'll find out if we have a winner or if we have just gotten our first tie in this edition. I'm Sandra Ezekwesli again. Lagos, don't go away. Some got here by dominating. The salary structure of Nigeria police is very, very low. We have recruits in the Nigeria system that earn just 9,000 naira. This doesn't even help them. Some got here by walkover. Our word is loud. You see them everywhere as they shout. They walk about in search of some clout. They are just individuals who have lost their routes. Some got here by playoffs, walkover, and upset. Hello, judges, I want you to understand the fact that this nomination of candidates is not democratic because it's not done in a way that to appeal to the generality of the political party. But it doesn't matter how. Wow. They got the elite eight. Have you seen the state of parks in Lagos nowadays? They're deplorable. They're an ice on the health hazard everyone they come across. What matters is, will they win and make it, and make it to the final four? Final. It's quarterfinals week in the I Beg to Differ debate tournament. Monday. My name is Abola Timothy from Bizarre School. My name is Hamid Olero. One winner. One winner. Tuesday. My name is Ikemini Osumusen, representing Spira College. I'm Master Claudia of Stenis Gomez School. One winner. Wednesday. My name is Ampao Osumo Artemis. I am Kouya Salam of Atenzi School. One winner. One winner. Thursday. My name is Bawa Jessa. My name is David Edwards from the African Church Mother College. One winner. One million naira. Join me, Sandra Ezekwasili, my panel of judges, and my debaters, 4 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays on 99.3 Nigeria Info. This tournament is supported by ULESSON, RLG Communications, and obiwuzi.com. We report, you decide. Topical conversations that matter to you. There are people for personal, religious, whatever reasons who do not want to take a vaccine. Mm-hmm. And I think they have the rights. They cannot go for us to stop insecurity. It's to force people to take vaccine. Let them come and kill me. I can never take it. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.
Hey guys, it's Ade Dami. My name is Dan the Humorous. Disconnected because you didn't link your national identification number to your MTN number? Don't worry. If you already have your NIN, here are five ways to reconnect. One, dial star 785 hash. Two, text your national identification number NIN to 785. Three, chat with Zizi on WhatsApp number plus 234-9033-000001. Four, visit my MTN NG app. Or five, visit www.mtn.ng. If you don't have a national identification number, just walk into any MTN store or Newsy Center near you or visit the MTN website to book an appointment. What are we doing today? Get ready for Volante Dairy Day on 18th of May. We are promoting the dairy consumption culture in Nigeria with a day set aside to educate Nigerians on the benefits of consuming dairy products. Enjoy dairy goodness every day with Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the biggest football fan festival in Nigeria is back. It's Goal Fest 2022. Featuring exhilarating games, food, comedy, live music by some of the best Nigerian music superstars. And you can watch the UEFA Champions League final. will take place on the 28th of May, 2022, at the Balmoral Convention Center, Federal Palace Hotel, Madubella Way, VI Lagos. Time, 12 noon. Hurry now. Limited tickets available. Get your free tickets now at www.goldfestnigeria.com. Goldfest 2022 is powered by Football Republic and refreshed by Pepsi. <laughs> Original solar products and pay over four months in the Cloud Energy Better Life promo. It's an amazing offer for solar bundles, inverter bundles, solar panels, vacuums, on-box solar home systems, and charge controllers. Mm. 
now to proceed and take a frozen trek. And my dear, see it all. Thank you for traveling with us on a freezer. It's been deep to form a character like a always on. <laughs> Thank you, my husband, for improving our lifestyle. Now we are free from Nepa, Diesel, Field, or Generator Wahala. <laughs> Fill your family with cool office oil cavities into the Brown Energy Better Life Bundle. Buy now and pay over 12 months. Zero nine zero nine nine zero 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 nine zero one zero eight zero three o p p g five hundred email sales at cloudenergy.com dot o g website www.cloudenergy.com.ng dot ng address four ninety one Ikorogi Road Kangu Lagos Cloud Energy Energy for a better life. Live five point three Nigeria Info your number one station for talk. Let's talk. <laughs> Some got here by dominating. The salary structure of Nigeria police is very, very low. We have recruits in the Nigeria system that earn just 9,000 naira. This doesn't even help them. Some got here by walkover. Our words loud. You see them everywhere as they shout. They walk about in search of some clout. They're just individuals who have lost their routes. Some got here by playoffs, walkover, and upset. Honorable judges, I want you to understand the fact that this nomination of candidates is not democratic because it's not done in a way that to appeal to the generality of the political party. But it doesn't matter how they got to the elite eight. Have you seen the state of parks in Lagos nowadays? They're deplorable. They're an ISO and a health hazard to everyone they come across. What matters what is, matters? will they win and make, and it, make it to the it final to four? Final. It's quarterfinals week in the I Beg to Differ debate tournament. Monday. My name is Abola Timothy from Bizarre School. My name is Hamid Olero. One winner. One winner. Tuesday. My name is Ikemini Osumusen, representing Spira College. I'm Master Claudia of Stenis Gun School. One winner. Wednesday. My name is Ampao Sumo Artemis. I am Koya Salam of Atenzin School. One winner. One winner. Thursday. My name is Bawa Jessa. My name is David Edwards from the African Church Mother College. One winner. One million naira. Join me, Sandra Ezekwasili, my panel of judges, and my debaters, 4 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays on 99.3 Nigeria Info. This tournament is supported by ULESSON, RLG Communications, and obiwuzi.com. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm Sandra Ezekwasili, your moderator. You've just heard from our very first debaters in the very first quarterfinal match for the May edition of I Beg to Differ. 15-year-old SS2 student at Rainbow College Day School, Hamid Olarawaju, faced 12-year-old JS2 student at Bijamik Private Schools, Adja. Now, we've gotten lots of questions about why um, our 12-year-old is in this tournament. He was in the very first one in November. November 2021 and he did so well we told him if you apply again and your audition is very good you get an automatic ticket it's like the golden tickets that people get in some reality uh, singing competitions so he got a golden ticket um, to any of the other tournaments that will organize this year and this is the one that he's at uh, he's also facing somebody who was uh, in the tournament last year, November 2021, Hamid. Hamid got to the quarterfinals, was knocked out by Tamvita Kaushik. Tamvita Kaushik went on to win that tournament in 2021. And today, these two people debated that Asu is right to go on strike. Ebule Timothy supported the motion. Hamid Olarawaju opposed the motion. They have gone through their presentation round. They've done the rebuttal round. The judges have listened, have scored. The results are in and we have a winner. In the presentation round, Ebule Timothy Chukwebuka scored 43. Hamid Olarawaju scored 46. For presentation style, Ebule Timothy Chukwebuka scored 17. Hamid Olarawaju scored 14. In the rebuttal round, Ebule Timothy Chukwebuka scored 29. Hamid Olarawadu scored 41. For rebuttal style, Ebule Timothy Chukwebuka scored 17. Hamid Olarawadu scored 20. With 121 
to 106, we have our very first semi-finalist returning next week, Hamid Olaranwaju. Well done. Congratulations. You just qualified for the semi-final next week, Monday. Ebonetti Mosi, well done. Great work. Thank you for taking part. Do you mind if I give you a handshake? You need to come over here so that I give you like a special handshake. If possible, turn it into a hug if you give me your consent. Because that was a brilliant showing. Ebonetti Mosi, well done. You have improved so much since the last time we saw you. And I do hope that we see you again. Because I, I, I know that you have what it takes to go very far in this competition. So well done. You made it to the Elite Eight. Good job. All right. I need to give you a round of applause as well. Because that was brilliant. <laughs> Gentlemen, you will get your debate topic. Well, you will get your debate topic on Thursday when you know your opponent. So good luck to you. Thank and you. Um, see you next week. Lagos, let's talk about what you have just heard. Gentlemen, you may leave the studio now. Our number is 0700-993-993-993. 0700-993-993-993. That's for men. For women, 01465-7190. 01465 And, of course, there is Facebook. We're streaming live. I hope you watched this debate live. Facebook is Nigeria. Info 99.3, YouTube Nigeria Info FM. We've got WhatsApp 080 959 75805. At 5 p.m., we're going to switch gears and talk about politics. But right now, let's talk about what you just heard. 99.3, hello. Hello. Good, Good to have you on the show. Uh, Bruce calling from Ikorodu. Welcome. Um, I just want to congratulate the both of, both of them mm. for a well presented debate mm -hmm. and congratulations to the winner. Mm. All right. they, they, they both tried. They, they both did. Congratulations to them. Thank you very much for calling. 99.3, <laughs> hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Hello, yeah. good evening. Sandra Kingsley. Kingsley, welcome. Thank you. Sandra, do you see how tense this debate is? How tense it uh, was, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, lo I love it. The tension in the studio in was fact, palpable. In fact, when, when we become pissed off with what is happening, with when you come to this air on four o'clock like this, we're always happy. <laughs> see, Sandra. Mm. And that we still have hope. Yes. Can you imagine where people are going out from, uh, I think, uh, 114 point to 100 and something point? Mm. But the last session, if you remember very well, some people reached to the final by 76 to 80 something point. Mm -hmm. But you see how intelligent these girls and boys are. Mm -hmm. Those are your children, Cassandra. We are not scared again. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for extension of the form because I'm trying to gather money for you. <laughs> Uh, Kingsley, thanks for calling. 99.3, hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Eze Bahome on Facebook says, I love the way Olaren Waju extended his hand and hugged Timothy on their way out. Aww. Namdi Osai says, The depth of knowledge for a 12-year-old. Good showing by Timothy. Congratulations to Hamid. Juliet is hey. on the line. Hi, Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Sandra, good evening. Good evening, Juliet. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> Good I'm Julius for my jam. Welcome. <laughs> wow, this debate, eh? Mm. In fact, I'm learning from them. Yeah. This is just like a football match. In fact, my heart was doing boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I, I, I would have loved like, too much to win because yeah, in the first uh, round, mm. he did very well. Mm -hmm. He did very well, but that rebuttal, he did not do well mm. in the rebuttal. Mm. Congratulations to both of them, Sha. Mm -hmm. Well done, Sandra. Thank you, Juliet. Even though his rebuttal wasn't as great as his presentation, his rebuttal now is much better than his rebuttals were in 2021. So the, the only way for Timothy now is up. The only road from here for Timothy is up. I'm really excited about Timothy. I'm really excited about what he's going to do with his life. I'm really excited about all the possibilities for him. He's young so it means that he can keep trying to win this tournament until this tournament you know until he's too old to try you know and he's just 12 so he can try again and again and again and again until he wins 99.3 hello hi sandra good afternoon good afternoon what's um, your name my name is Anne. i'm calling from lakey hi Anne. um well done i i 
once I beg to differ, it's on. I call all my friends and family. Like, I beg to differ, it's on. I still, <laughs> I'm amazed at the quality of and the content of the argument these people, these that debaters put up. Yeah. Well done to the two debaters today. Yeah. I also want to quickly comment. I was trying to call last week when they debated nomination forms. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I cannot believe Esther managed to convince me that party nomination forms are not <laughs> true. <expensive. laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Well done, Sandra. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Anne, for calling. And thank you for telling your family members that you don't start. I love that. I appreciate that. Do what Anne is doing. Tell your friends to tell their friends. Tell someone to tell someone else. Something great is happening here. And hey, guess what? The auditions for August will kick off as soon as this one is ending. We're not going to waste time. We want to get everybody. We want to strike while the iron is hot. So as soon as this is over, the auditions for August will start. Like on that day, gong, 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 go. We'll have a post up on our website. If you think you have your kid who is good enough to do this, and this one we're opening it up to everyone. Well, not everyone. From, <laughs> we're opening it up for ages 12 to 16. 12 to 16. Uh, the last, the, the ones we did in February, we left it uh, for 14 to 16. Now we're opening it up from 12 to 16. They have to be 16 by the time they submit their audition and they have to be 12 by the time they submit their audition. If they're younger than 12, we're not even going to listen. 12 to 16, all right? Okay. 99.3, hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. 99.3, hello. All right, call us back if you can. 99.3, hello. Hi, President. Good to have you on the show. What's your name? Ma? What's your name, sir? My name is Michael. Michael, welcome. Tell me what you thought. Yeah, I really like Timothy. I like his presentation and because I watch it live. Okay. On Facebook. So I really like the guy like well, I knew I knew on this guy, I knew he's going to win. Okay. Well, I just like Smokey. Go to try next time and then win. Mm. Okay. I wish him best of luck. Thank you so much. Ninety nine point three, hello. Hello, hello. Hi Tanja. How are you? What's your name? My name is Shade. How are you doing? I'm okay, Shade. Welcome. Yes, so Sandra, mm. you know, I, by the time this um, debate is over, mm. I'm going to apply to be a judge. <laughs> <me too. laughs> I am getting, uh, um, my my judging is getting there, okay, you know. Okay. As you are reading the score, I was like, yes, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> I was like, yes. Uh, I mean, uh, I apply for judges, should judge people. Yeah, <laughs> just to let you know. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, but half of that, I just wanted to two things that that this debate has done for me is that I love the diversity of the students that are coming through, right? And it's the fact that I get to learn. You know, when you think you have a position, and then these students tell you something that they're like, you know what? That's another position to think about. Mm. So I really love that. And today's mm. was really good. Mm. I mean, was really good. I'm yeah. happy for that. I can't wait for tomorrow's own. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then I'll put my. Um, you see my application for a judge. Okay. 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 Right. okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> We've got Noah on the line. Hi, Noah. Ah, uh, Madam Sandra. Good to have you on the show, sir. Thank you, Bob. Welcome. Go ahead. Uh, please, you see, I, I don't know. It is uh, telling these debaters that uh, this one got knocked out by Jordan. I don't you think it's affecting them psychologically. Okay. Uh, I, I, I just felt it might, it might affect their boldness into coming for this competition or when they are seated. I mean, I know how it is. I debate as well. So when they say things like that, it just goes straight to my heart and make beam. But you know, I forget <laughs> whatever I, I have upstairs. Okay. Uh, I just felt you should. Hmm, madam? Mm. Hey, man. Don't tell them that they were knocked out. Yeah. All right. Mm. Thank you, Noah, for calling. Thanks for the feedback. 99.3, hello. 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 Good afternoon, Ambassador President Sandra Ezekwesele. Good to have you on the show, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Godwin Kali from Long Shoro Lafwe. Godwin, welcome. I want to say a word to you this afternoon. Okay. That there is no tree that produces a fruit if it is not from a fertilized land. And it is only when you have an able-handed child who knows what she is doing that brings out the best we are having. 
I want to urge you and bless you that this good work you are doing, great work, fruit is going to come of you by grace very soon in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. That I want to see you up there very soon next. Okay. Because what you are doing now, the people in authority, if they are giving half of it to the citizen of this nation, I'm, think, I, I'm sure what we are having today will not be so. You are fruitful, you are a developer, you are a career uh, manager, you are, in fact, Sandra, my ambassador and president, God bless you. Bless you as well. Thank you so much for calling. Uh, we've got Olatunji Andrew Olakunle who says, I'm sure the mentioning of 9K by Hamid was responsible for the drop in his presentation style. <laughs> okay. Uh, Adeke Adebola says, this is the first time I predicted wrong. They both did well, though, but I thought Timothy did better, especially in the first um, round. Good luck to you, Timothy, and congratulations, Hamid. Doin Phillips says, oh, my God, Timothy, you make me weep. You're so good. Uh, you should be proud at the age of 12. God bless you and increase your knowledge. Keep you safe to fulfill your destiny in Jesus' name. Oh, God bless you. Doin Phillips with that message there. Uh, Kennedy Ugochiku says fanboying who are you talking about what are you talking about Tifa Tifa says Timothy's rebuttal wasn't too good I guess that's where Hamid edged him a bit kudos to both of them uh, Odeemi Mayawa says nice job everyone thank you Nigeria Info for equipping the future generations for a greater tomorrow we've got more comments on Facebook Sean Johnson says I'm not surprised that Hamid won though Ibuli tried but a lot uh a lot know her made his first class material. He was supposed to win the last competition. Mm, he was? Okay. Uh, Uche Okorie says, um, Hi, Sandra. Great job the debate. I also commend these young stars. Um, however, I suggest that other categories should be incorporated um, into the grading system. This is a really long message, so I'm going to have to read that, settle down and read that. Uh, Ezra Bahome says, okay, no, I've taken that comment before. Let me come back to the phone lines. 99.3, hello. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Good, Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? This is Prudence. I'm calling from Aibo. Welcome, Prudence. Thank you. Mm. Today was indeed a debate I was not looking forward to. You know, I after listening to them, um, listening to their last debates on the website, I, w I was wondering how both of them were going to, to, to battle it out together. It was really something. It was something. And I'm not happy Timothy didn't get it over. I hope he, he gets to come back again, better, stronger, and yeah, more better. Yes. And I'm happy for Hamid. He did so well. He came from a difficult point, but mm. he did so, so, so well. Hmm. Looking forward to tomorrow's debate. All right. And Sandra, I like that the ad you did for for this week's debate. I like it. Thank so. you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Ninety nine point three. Hello. <coughs> Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Ninety nine point three. Hello. Hi, good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Abednego. Welcome, Abednego. Thank you. Um, I think today's debate was good. However, I don't know what happened to the atmosphere. It was, I mean, it's good that the debate is calm. They had a discourse setting, but I was looking for um, <laughs> bad boys in the mix. Not this is why we cannot give uh, audience voting powers because hey. people will fail somebody because they are quiet. <laughs> you know, they say, oh no, they are drawing like a one. No, you're not listening to their points, you're listening for fire. I beg to differ that the point of the point of the. My president, yeah. my president, mm -hmm. I listened to them. They were good. Mm -hmm. What the heck? I was waiting for small, small, you know, just, just touch it small. And then say, hey, 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 come back. <laughs> Abednego, thanks for calling. I have to take messages on uh, WhatsApp before WhatsApp people will stage a, stage a protest. WhatsApp again is 080-959-75805. Great minds. God be with both of you. You made my day. That's a message from Samson. Uh, we've got um, Godwin who says... I like the wisdom in your undertone on the debate. It comes with a lot of promises for Timothy in the next two to three years. I am rest assured that he's going to be the first male winner in their beg to differ. Mm. 
Does that mean you think a girl is going to win this one? Hmm. Margaret from Ikate says, I was expecting Timothy to win. Uh, we've got this message here. These children are doing wonderfully well and the best have won. Kudos to Hamid. That's a message from Samuel Oji in a papa. Congrats to Hamid. I'm very proud of Timothy, though. He should raise his chin up high. Uh, today's debate was very tight. Timothy is very good, but the other chap is equally showing why he's the number one seed. But like you always say, there can only be one winner. That's O'Hara from Festac with that message. Pre uh, we've got... Um... Whoa, someone... Whoa, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to reach out to you. Someone just sent us a really interesting message. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me bookmark this so that I can, I can come back to it and take a look at it, like take a proper look at it. But thank you for calling that to our attention. We've got um, someone who says, um, uh, Sandra... La 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 la. You guys should. La. Oh, I beg. We've got this message here. Timothy was great, but the winner did better. Emma from Ikoya with that message there. Uh, Sandra, did you hear debaters say that Asu was giving two hundred million under PDP? But Sandra, you have not admitted to this for once. <laughs> oh, so I guess today I'm not a PDP woman anymore. Ah, okay. Oh. Because it changes. One day people accuse me of PDP. Next day they accuse me of APC. We've got more messages here from uh, different people. My God, so many messages. Uh, these children are making me to understand the real reasons why ASU has been on strike. Wow, Sandra, well done, well done, well done. All right, thank you very much for your messages. Let's see if we have time to take uh, maybe one call or two before we have to take a break. The number to call is 0700-993-993-993. Hello, thanks for calling us. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? Yeah, my name is Oladipo. Oladipo, welcome. Go ahead. Yeah, um, you know, I always pray for 4 p.m. during I bet to differ. And no matter what I'm doing, I try to be here. Aww. Timothy is, I just see a, a whole lot of myself. And I just want to say to him, I remember when I started debating at the age of 11. Okay. In my GSS 2, okay. I went for four competitions. Okay. I lost the first three. Oh. until I got to the finals and came second. Hmm. But in my GSS3, till I finished, I never lost any debate. And I'm sure when he's coming back, he will be in GSS3, and he will do excellently well. I just want to encourage him. Hmm. He's fantastic. He is. And he should keep it up. He is. He is. Thank you so much for calling, and thank you for the encouragement for Timothy. I do hope he is listening, because he is talented. There's something there. There really is something there. But there's also something uh, in all of our debaters. You know, Hamid, uh, Esther, uh, Awesome, Usang, uh, Artemis, uh, Kowia, who was out of the game. Like, Kowia's story is so inspirational, because Kowia was out of the game, and then she was brought back in because someone pulled out out of the tournament and then she knocked out somebody who scored higher than her during the auditions and now she's in the quarterfinals you know so all of these children are really special there's something there and i hope that you know this is an experience that they can take with them as they journey through life and it teaches them like to persevere teaches them to keep trying teaches them to come back again and again and again no matter how many times you're knocked out we've got uh, uh you lesson to thank for this tournament they will make sure that our winners will get their big fat checks. Now, if you want your kid to get into tech, you want them to learn how to code, you want them to learn how to um, do other tech-related stuff, Ulesson is the person you should be going to to help you do that. Um, for those who want their kids to learn to code, code.ulesson.com is where you can start. They have trainers, professional trainers, who will give these children one-on-one -on -one tutorials. In fact, the winner of One Million Naira will get three months one-on-one -on -one tutorials uh, from a Ulesson um, um, tutor. The second uh, place finish 
finisher will get, um, you know, one month intensive training from a ULES uh, tutor as well. Same thing for the third place finisher. And I beg to differ, we try to give as many people as many things as possible. That's also why obweezy.com is providing a laptop for the first place, a phone for the second place, and a, a, f- a portable speaker for the third place. RLG Communications is providing tablets for the top four finishers. So the four, f- four semi-finalists automatically get a tablet from RLG Communications. Thank you to all our sponsors, all our supporters, all the fans. Thank you so much for accepting I beg to differ for making it your own. Let me take one final call. I have time for one final call and then we'll call it a wrap. 99.3, hello? 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 All right. <laughs> it doesn't look like that person was ready for that call. But thank you for making it easy for me. Uh, let me take this comment here from Kennedy Ugochuku who says, Hamid spoke really maturely and calmly. When I tuned in, I thought it was a normal radio panel. And he did well in the rebuttal. It did not sound like a cram and poor kind of debate. Uh, we've got uh, Austin who says... Mm, I think Austin is replying to someone. Um... So I'm not going to be able to take that message because I think that's a response to someone else um, on the show. But hey, stick around from five o'clock. Let's talk politics. Let's look at all these ministers who have suddenly, uh, you know, pulled out of the tournament. Uh, well, sorry, not a tournament. Well, it is a tournament, isn't it? Well, pulled out of their different races um, today. We're still waiting for some of them to still either pull out today or resign um, today. So we're going to look at all those who have done it. Uh, all those who may still do it and all those who are really, really running for office. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili, S. Ezekwesili on social media, Lagos. Don't go away. More news and information coming up. We'll be back in a moment. Some got here by 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.